Hello everyone, welcome back to my album podcast. I'm back for yet another episode, and I had to do this follow-up because I just did a podcast on iPhoto for the iPhone, and I did not demonstrate it for the iPad because I do not have an iPad 2, although they're both similar. Yet I came across numerous articles in the past couple of days that address the issue of how you can install the new iPhoto app on the iPad 1 using the iPhone configuration utility. Now if you don't use this, this is what happens. Here's iTunes here. I'm going to go ahead and select iPhoto with my iPad selected. I'm going to hit apply and you're going to see an error message pop up saying that iPhoto is not made for this device. You see that, you know it's not going to work. You need the iPhone configuration utility. And you can go to Apple's website to download it. So this is what it looks like when you open it. You're going to go and select applications. You'll see I have iMovies already there, but I need to add the iPhoto app, so I'm going to hit add. And I'm going to go ahead and just search for iPhoto. Probably going to have two applications show up. Here's one for the desktop and then one for iOS. I'm going to select that. You're going to wait a few minutes or a few seconds for that to download or upload. Then you're going to select your iPad in the left-hand column. You're going to see a bunch of applications with install. That is, applications that are already installed. You're going to find iPhoto and you'll see next to it that it has yet to be installed on the iPad. So you're going to click install, then you're going to wait a few moments, and voila, it's done. And this is iPhoto on my iPad screen. Open it up, and you can see I have my albums that are visible. Here's the uh, photo and tile mode, and here's one of the effects features with the brushes tool. Anyway, that's how it's done. Uh, one thing that you have to be aware of though, if you ever sync your iPad again with iTunes, it will automatically remove the app from the iPad. And if you want to reinstall it, you have to go through the iPhone configuration utility tool one more time in order to reinstall it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. My name is Tim Brown. I'll see you next time.